you know, is there any Rotarians in the crowd? Yeah. Woo! All right. <laughs> uh, anyway, Rotary is an international organization. Uh, we do a lot of fundraising events for local charities and um, uh, needs around the world. And this is one event that the net proceeds go towards. So thank you out for coming out. Again, another wonderful day. I don't think we've had a bad day yet uh, in the nine years that we've had this event. So. Well, this past summer sizzled with the fun, fast-paced, and friendly competition of the 9th Annual Rotary Club of Woodridge's Mini Triathlon held at Cypress Cove Water Park in Woodridge, Illinois. Every year, the Rotary Club of Woodridge puts on a fantastic event which combines swimming, biking, and running. The day started out with competitor registration and then a welcome from members of the Rotary Club of Woodridge. And then let the games begin. First competitor swam 10 laps in the pool, then quickly made their way to their bikes and biked 6.2 miles. Finally, many triathloners ran 2.1 miles. All times were tallied up and prizes awarded for several age categories for both men and women. And of course, you know it baby, that's right, a trophy for best time. This event took place on Sunday, August 10th, 2008. And you know, it's a summertime favorite for the Woodridge area. For the second year, there was a family competition where each member of the family could run a particular event. So a family of three could have dad swim, mom bike, and Junior McGee, whoever he may be, run. All times are tallied, and then a final time for the entire family was set. There was also corporate teams competing in the event this year as well. The date for the next Rotary Club of Woodridge's mini triathlon is Sunday, August 9, 2009. The Rotary Club of Woodridge was founded on May 3, 1989. Members of the Woodridge Rotary Club are a diverse cross-section of professionals working in business, community, governmental, and non-for-profit organizations. The club's mission is to support Rotary International projects as well as undertaking local community projects in the Woodridge area. Their signature fundraising events include the Poinsettia plant sale during the Christmas holidays, an awesome collectibles auction around the Thanksgiving holiday, and this mini triathlon event in August. Funds for this particular event are used for college scholarships, numerous Woodridge community youth programs, as well as support of humanitarian programs sponsored by Rotary International. If you'd like to learn more about the Rotary Club of Woodridge and their programs, hey, you know, I got a solution for all that. Why don't you join them at one of their regular weekly meetings every Tuesday afternoon at 12 p.m. at Seven Bridges Golf Club. A free lunch. Hey, can't beat that. The focus of every Rotary Club worldwide is to encourage and foster the ideal of service as a basis of worthy enterprise and in particular to encourage and foster the following four principles. Encourage the development of acquaintances and friendships as an opportunity for service. Uphold high ethical standards in business and professions. The recognition of the worthiness of all useful occupations and the dignifying of each Rotarian's occupation as an opportunity to serve society, the application of the ideal of service in each Rotarian's personal, business, and community life, and finally to foster the advancement of international understanding, goodwill, and peace through a world fellowship of business and professional persons united in the ideal of service. Well, we're back and we're outside Cypress Cove Aquatic Park here in Woodridge, Illinois as the Woodridge Rotary Club is having their mini triathlon and today I am joined by Mike Adams who is a current president of the Woodridge Rotary as well as chairperson for this event and Mike tell us what was all happening today. Uh, this is our ninth annual mini triathlon. Um, it's an event that it's mini, so it's not a full triathlon, and uh, we abbreviate it for to really market to first-time uh, 
uh, athletes that want to try a triathlon. It's a 250 yard length swim that's in the Cypress Cove pool, which then transitions to a 6.2 mile bike or 10 kilometers. And then that transitions to a 2.1 mile run uh, all throughout Woodridge. Uh, we take advantage of closing off all the streets uh, as well as the Cypress Cove Family Aquatic Facility. And we brought in over 160 some athletes this year, which is our record, record year. We had a beautiful sunny day in the 70s and uh, turned out to be a wonderful event. And we understand that for the second year, you've had a great company come out called Race Time and it makes it a little easier on some of the volunteers here that you don't have to be running around, that you have a company handling that. Race Time is an official Race Time company um, that comes in and coordinates uh, by computer systems all the timing of the athletes. Uh, it takes a tremendous load off the volunteers to have to do that from the old-fashioned way of doing stopwatches. So they come in, they do uh, computerized uh, um, timing of the events, and then they are able to produce the results within minutes, uh, even throughout the, the, res uh, the race, so that we can post them throughout. Athletes don't have to wait for, uh, for their time, so it works out well. And then they can post them on the website afterwards. Words. Right, and as we saw that a lot of preparation goes into this event, I understand the Chief of Police, Steve Heron, was here at 4 a.m., so this is an event that has to be coordinated with the police department, so you block all the roads and everything. Yeah, it's, I mean, it actually is a six-month process to actually go through uh, getting all the planning started and getting sponsors in, uh, as well as all the coordination for the actual day of itself, which involves the police department, public works from the village, the park district, EMS, and then coordinating all our volunteers. So over the span of uh, six to eight months it takes to put this thing together, uh, but in the end it's a, it's a great result. We have a uh, tremendous amount of good feedback that we get from the racers and the athletes. And then the net proceeds go to uh, worthwhile projects, both locally and uh, internationally. Right, and we understand for the second year you've actually had teams uh, that couldn't compete uh, together, so you have individuals, but then you have actual teams of people. Right, the nice thing is that if somebody doesn't want to do the whole event, then you can get a team together and you can each partake in one segment of the course. So we had over six teams participate this year, and that's growing each year as, uh, as we continue to uh, offer the event. So it's working out well. I think there's a, um, a niche for everybody, from both the uh, first-timers to the seasoned athlete who's uh, preparing to go into a full marathon or triathlon. And um, so we get a, a good mix of diversity of people that come in here, and we get people all throughout the Midwest that uh, attend this event. So it's growing, and... Uh, uh, we're hopeful we get uh, more vol more volunteers as well as more athletes next year. Okay, Mike, any final thoughts? No, we just uh, appreciate you guys being out here to videotape all this and document it. Again, it was a great day, and uh, we look forward to next year and getting bigger. For more information about the Rotary Club of Woodridge and this year's mini triathlon, please take note of your screen.